Alright, I'm going to make a quick video here on the U.S. election. Right now, according to the CBC, Donald Trump is leading the electoral race of 244. Still got a few states to go, and I'll find out who wins when I read the newspaper in the morning on the way to, on my way to work. So, hi. Alright, uh, I got a newspaper while I was at Highfield, and it hasn't told me nothing about who won the presidential election last night because they said that some states were too close to call upon press time. So I'm going to either check the results on cbc.ca um, at home from work or in the library on the way home from work, or maybe I'll ask my boss to check the results for me on the computer that she's using mostly for work. So, I Alright, I'm just taking my dog for a walk right now. And I found out from the cbc.ca website that Donald Trump has been elected the President of the United States. His electoral vote count is like final total like 303 to Hillary Clinton's 238. So, hope, hope Donald Trump uh, delivers on his promises of being tough on illegal immigrants and it doesn't matter what he said about women years ago. It's nothing compared to what Hillary Clinton has, Hillary Clinton's record, basically, on um, women. Because he, she enabled a rapist to get away with it and silenced uh, the rape victims of her husband, Bill Clinton. So, um, it's going to be interesting to see what the next four years are going to be under President Trump. Hopefully, it'll make, help make America great again. Bye. Okay, so, my final thoughts on the 2016 presidential election in the United States are that uh, although Hillary Clinton ran a good campaign, which was funded by the same Saudis that funded ISIS as well as, I don't know how many terrorist groups they fund, but ISIS is the top target right now in regards to terrorist groups. She, she ran a good campaign. And here's the thing, though. She's a woman. And a woman's place is always in the home. The Bible never lies, and the Bible is not sexist. See, in the Bible, even though it might say that a woman's body belongs to her husband, in the same chapter, it, I think one verse after that, says, Likewise, the husband does not own his body, belongs to the wife. How's, how's that for gender equality in the Bible? And women in leadership positions in the Bible remained submissive to their husbands and throughout history have women in leadership positions submitting to their male uh, authority figures such as Saint Joan of Arc as well as the Virgin Mary to her husband Saint Joseph have Queen Elizabeth II even though she's the Queen of England She's at home, she's submissive to her husband, Prince Philip. It was part of the wedding vows in the Church of England at weddings like that. Back then, and can still be uh, said if the couple wishes to, is to love, cherish, and to obey. That's what the bride's, that's part of the bride's vows. So congratulations, Donald Trump, on winning the oh, this year's presidential election. Hopefully in your first trip to Canada, please come to Nova Scotia. She could eat a chicken burger from Canada's oldest drive-in diner. They're delicious. And this is... Hope you enjoyed my compilation of videos of me trying to find out who won the presidential election this year. 
and I'll see you in 2020. Bye.